We are using biological signals from the brain and the body to generate a three-dimensional immersive digital ink called Life Ink. I think is part of a collaborative research between Wacom and Ars Electronica Future Lab. We developed uh, a headgear for the brain waves as well as the vest for different um, biological signals throughout your body. We wanted to explore uh, the creative sparks inside of our bodies and also being able to use uh, the conscious uh, as well as the subconscious. We are currently using the alpha wave, beta wave, and delta wave of the brain waves. For example, um, the beta waves are generating the branches of life ink, which swirls around in a circle, which looks like almost a neuron and a brush stroke at the same time. We are also using alpha waves that generate um, large sparks um, when you are inspired or um, when you are talking to someone. Um, also, we have the delta waves that are generating the source of the branches called the trunks. We are also using um, EDA, which is of which are the electrodes on the palm of your hand, which is detecting the amount of sweat that is being generated. Um, that is also changing the color and the radius of life ink. And that is also related to um, your subconscious emotions. We also have EMG, which is the signals from your muscles, whether you are getting tense or you're relaxed, or when you are actually moving movements, those are also reflected in the life ink. Also, we have um, EOG, those are the electrodes around your eyes, and those are generating very small sparks that run around the branches of life ink. Susie, she is part of uh, the Life Inc. project. When we recorded um, her Life Inc., she's always a very thoughtful, intelligent, uh, creative person. And as she codes, you can see that um, the Life Inc. swirls in a very calm, large way, but you can see large changes and in the color and sometimes very large sparks when she is inspired and coding something new. Marco, he, who is a drummer, and he is also um, performing uh, a drum performance during the recording, and you can see sparks flying all over the place, and then the color changes very drastically as he performs and as he becomes more and more passionate in the performance. Um, also, we have um, a communicator in the Ars Electronica Center, Johannes. Um, he's also a very open social person and as he talks to different persons to give a guided tour in the museum, his color changes in such a rapid way and sparks always flying. For the Ars Electronica Festival, we developed a performance in deep space. We uh, collaborated with a pianist, Maki Namekawa. She was playing uh, a music that was very important to her life.